yes, sir. Yes, sir. People bring it in, bring it in, guys. We got some crucial breaking information everybody should be aware of. Hey, it's all just going along with the timeline. I was just bringing information that seems to be more valid. But like I say, I encourage those that doubt what I'm saying to find where I've been wrong. But guys, let's tap down into it. Y'all know y'all here, money Montgomery. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Guys, Bitcoin sitting at 70,000, reclaiming. Guys, that tap of 73 is the kickoff again of us running. Understand, we are one day out from the Bitcoin halving month. You guys have not even seen the bull cycle start. I mean, excuse me, we've seen it start. You haven't seen a, you have, we have not got to the nitty gritty of bull, this bull cycle. Again, Bitcoin over 100,000. Uh, Ethereum near, you know, 7,000. XRP, $20, $30. That's where we're ending this year alone in, 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 in my honest opinion right but let's tap down into some more important things with what's going on with our xr pistol guys xr is currently sitting at 62 cents about to be 63 cents we've been teetering on that line but let's tap down to information information actually dropped yesterday but i was lit so i couldn't do anything but here we are early in the morning with it let's get down to it breaking news brad garlinghouse and stewart uh i don't know how you say is audatry uh, have been spotted at the federal courthouse in New York a few hours ago. Now, again, guys, this dropped yesterday. This is before they had full confirmation. This was rumors of settle. I mean, they're saying rumors of settlement. Here was the confirmation that they were actually in a, they're in a settlement conference that kicked off yesterday. So that was a settlement conference. That wasn't just to show up and bring, uh, you know, information. This was, guys, basically during Easter, which is why I told one of, Pe the people, I think it's one of our family members. I'm not sure if it's family or not. But they came in and they were like, this is just going to be kicked down the road. Guys, we're in the settlement phase. They're going to get this done quick. They're moving it. That's why they, again, put in that uh, uh, motion to speed, uh, to speed the uh, settlement phase up. Y'all think that was just a joke? So they met up yesterday, right, in a settlement conference. What also kicks off, guys, right? Y'all just put this all together for me. This occurred today, this morning, breaking news, 16 million XRP bought by a single whale on a major Korean exchange. This is, we're going to read quick over this. This is the whale uh, alert, of course, showing that this is the actual transaction right here, guys, of the 16 million XRP to whatever, you know, unknown wallet, right? But let's tap down to this. So I want y'all to, we had the meeting that occurred yesterday Nobody knew that was going to pop up, so this was not scheduled. They didn't know this was going to occur on the 29th. Popped up yesterday with settlement conference. We have a $16 million wallet purchase today. Let's read down what's going on here. Uh, XRP uh, alert. 16 million XRP bought by single well on major Korean exchange. According to on-chain data, a substantial amount of 60, 16 million XRP has been transferred from Upbit. One South Korean... Uh, one of South Korea's largest crypto exchanges to an unknown wallet. The movement of a large amount of XRP from Upbit to an unknown wallet has led to has led to speculation within the crypto uh, currency community about the possibility of a well buying XRP. The transfer was detected and reported by Well Alert, a service that tracks large crypto transactions. Sixteen million XRP worth ten million dollars. I just, I can't wait to have that amount of money access to me this that's just and it's coming and it's coming this is what we're here for what's transferred to upbit to unknown wallet again this was the actual uh well alert that posted on x that was the transaction i showed y'all in a similar move another massive transaction of 18 million was moved from upbit to an unknown wallet a wallet well alert reports 18 million xrp worth 11 million was transferred from upbit to an unknown wallet so guys this is 20 something million dollars of XRP that just occurred yesterday, right? Such large scale transfers often lead to speculation about the intentions behind them. In both cases, unknown destination of XRP moves might suggest whales or large holders of crypto could be accumulating a position. I wonder why they would be doing that right now. And again, yesterday, out of nowhere, there was a settlement conference. Hey, hey, let's just keep reading along. I'm not gonna put, tell, you, tell you what to think, right? I'm just bringing the information. And again, if you don't get it, you never win. Now let's see what that's. This is the furthest. This is further supported by the recent moves of XRP to the unknown destination. As reported, 210 million XRP coins were shifted between unknown wallets. Mm -hmm. The recent moves might indicate that large players of whales are accumulating XRP in anticipation for a positive developments. 
potential price moves or as part of a long-term investment strategy. The timing of these transactions also coincides with rumors of potential settlement between Ripple and U.S. Security Exchange Commission, the SEB. Um, I hope that yeah, yeah, SEC don't do anything to me. I, I, I'm just trying to have a couple chinchillas, a couple V12, so y'all don't make me disappear. That was disrespectful. I, you know, hey. I, don't, I know y'all got power. Let me hold back off on that. All right, get down There is an ongoing settlement chatter as the entire XRP community speculates on a potential settlement conference. Fox Business, and this was the rumor now that the conference was confirmed. This is before. Fox Business correspondent uh, Eleanor Terry hints at a settlement conference scheduled for March 29th site in the court listener documents. If the speculations are true, such settlement could have significant re repercussions for the value of XRP and a broader cryptocurrency market. Guys, we're tapping in here, as I keep saying, on the frothy part of the whole thing. We didn't have to ride it to $3 and watch it fall as they got hit by the cement. We're here at the end. If you're not a Q of them coins, oh, I done spilled water all on my table. God. Ah. I done got so excited up here talking, I just knocked a cup of water over here. Let me wipe that. All right. All right. Anywho, uh, if you're not understanding what I'm trying to tell you, we're here at the tippy top of it, guys. As I was mentioning to one of our family members, they were asking, you know, what number should I buy? And, of course, I told them the ranges. We got that support that's at 56. Um, and, again, of course, we have some resistance at 66. But anything under a dollar is still, in my personal opinion. Because, again, we're talking about after this settlement. In my personal opinion, I see a 5 to $10 run off top, right? Off top. You're talking about a rejection or suppression of a previous bull run with a settlement and now you're doubling up with a, a, a institution that is 10 times 20 times 30 times the value oh my god oh my god hey let's finish it off with this guys right also at the same time frame correlating with uh, uh thailand right or uh, uh, with korea with those transactions here we are again uh this is from ripple this occurred uh day four yesterday uh, Ripple cross-border payment solution helps CBC Thailand drive innovation in the instant cross-border. And then that's a, I think it says Scion. What is it? A Siam Commercial Bank of Thailand, right? So here we go. Let's tap into this and we're going to close off, guys. It should smell like riches. In this period, a financial institution is uh, very prone for the disruptive technology. And being the conventional bank, SCB would like to transform ourselves to become one of the digital banks that could success and survive in the future. Hello, my name is Tanawat Kitisuwan. I'm the head of Global Transactional what? Banking okay. Services of SCB Thailand. In 2021, we get about 1 million transactions. And in this year, 2022, I think we're going to reach uh, 2 million by this year end. Currently, we are serving eight countries with 13 partners. The countries that we are serving, like UK, uh, Japan, Singapore, and we are planning to grow to Australia as well. SCB has been partnering with Ripple for almost five years. Actually, during these five years that we... Be and then I just want everybody to understand, again, don't look at the price, look at the company. What's been going around in the background, right? Through, uh, amongst all of this, amongst all the settlement, you've got to understand outside of the United States, Ripple has been taking over. Become the partner with Ripple. One of the most advantageous thing is that we could uh, grow our remittance volume. We could plug in with the new partnership uh, of Ripple globally uh, without much of the effort by having more transactional and also uh, making more of the um, revenue services together. There's a very big benefit in terms of convenience and also the cheap remittance fee. Instead of waiting for a few days for the remittance, this could be done within a minute. When we check with the traditional rail, we could save around seven times cheaper than, than the, the normal rail that we are using. Positive. So again, as they're mentioning, it's about seven times cheaper for them to do transactions in what their current seven times cheaper, right? And then the settlement is instant. If outcome that I'm a suburban guy, a chinchilla type of guy, but also a condo type of dude. The oh, SCB is working repo is that we could obtain the very low uh, remittance fee with the timely and high speed uh, remittance for our customers.
the reason why we think that SCB and Ripple are the very good match partner is that we have the same vision and align well with our uh, strategies to become the leaders of the financial services in the in the future world. Yeah. Ripple and SCB has very good alignment in terms of vision and in terms of the capability of both sides that could grow market together. So we believe that if we are growing together, we could be achieve our, our big target. Pressure, pressure, guys. And, and, and listen, I'm going to tell you like this, and this is no, um, no, no knock to any race or anything like this. One thing I do know and I love being involved with is when my investments are invested around high thinking um uh, asian people financial market guru this, that that's when i know my money's in the right space that's when i know whatever wherever you could be invested in right i'm feeling very comfortable with this at 60 cents I, i'm sorry just call me crazy but i just feel like it's worth you know hundreds of dollars or more thousands of dollars more than what the current price is per coin and like i say if you don't believe that just think about it like this ripple has a settlement because they were selling XRP to institutions, right? That means that institutions were buying XRP, right? And they still continue to do so, right? Why would they be buying it if it was just such a, this is not the next uh, best thing since uh, sliced bread. If it wasn't that, why would they be buying in bulk? So much so that the buys alone fund uh, the mass majority of Ripple's um, uh, finances. Which again is what Ripple's supposed to be doing is selling XRP. But just imagine if they're sponsoring, if institutions are buying that much XRP, what do you think is going to happen, right? Settlement coming, settlement near. You do whatever you want to do. I'm just telling y'all what I'm doing, guys. Like I said, I got V8 back, B12 back dust is going to be on the tip of your lips. Just don't be mad at me. Much love to y'all family. Y'all hold it down. We got some exciting things coming. Oh, yes, yeah, sir.